close your eyes, focus on your breath. Feel the breath coming in, going out. Each time it comes in, each time it goes out. Try to stay right here. It's in the staying that you develop good qualities of the mind. The breath is very easy to watch. But staying with it consistently requires that you be more mindful, more alert, put more ardency into what you're doing. And these are good qualities to develop. We're looking for happiness in a way that's good for ourselves and good for others. Most kinds of happiness based on material gain, status, praise, sensual pleasures, don't really develop the mind that well. In fact, they can make you very lazy. Whereas the goodness that comes from being generous, that comes from being virtuous, that comes from meditating, it requires that you strengthen your mind as you find that happiness. And in doing so, you're finding a happiness that doesn't have boundaries. With your wealth, it's it's happy for you and a few people who enjoy the wealth with you. Same with status. You gain, other people lose it. With praise, you gain it, other people lose it. That creates boundaries. But when you're being generous, what boundaries you're creating? You're developing good qualities, you're developing a sense of self-worth inside. The people who are receiving your gifts receive the gifts, they benefit. And the people who see what you're doing and see that it's a good thing that they're still human beings that are generous, they benefit as well. So this is happiness. This is not just a feeling of pleasure. It is a happiness that develops good qualities of the mind, strengthens the mind, at the same time doesn't have boundaries. It's the happiness that we try to find through material gain and status. That creates boundaries in the world, which is why there's so much conflict going on. But if we look for happiness in virtue, generosity, meditation, that creates a greater sense of unity. People see you're doing something good. Even if they don't immediately benefit from it, they see that it's a good thing that the world has good people in it. They benefit. You benefit. The people who are recipients of your generosity, the people who, with whom you're restrained in terms of your precepts, and the people who don't have to put up with the greed, aversion, and delusion because you've been learning how to meditate, you've been learning how to create less of those things. They benefit directly. So it's happiness all around. This is why this is the kind of thing that we do when we want to dedicate merit to other people. We want to make them happy in whatever place they've gone to after they've died. We do merit. We, we are generous, we are virtuous, we meditate. We realize that we're doing something good in the world and we're dedicating it to them. They're happy. That happiness becomes their merit. So this is the kind of happiness that spreads its results out in whatever widening circles. It doesn't end just with the end of the pleasure. Pleasurable sensation is something that lasts for a long time. So it's a sign of a wisdom that we look for happiness in these ways, for our own sake and for everybody else.